Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi there. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, our little chat time. You see we're missing our third, our third wheel. <laughs> So Darlene's just the in two Maine. of us, just yes. Just the two of us. We're having a cup of coffee this yes. morning. Darlene's in Maine and uh, having a wonderful time celebrating her husband's birthday. birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Mike. Exactly. It's Glorious good. time to be there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, or anywhere. Well, Even so here. <laughs> I want to say summer was a little difficult. We either had really, really cold or really, really hot and humid. Yeah. And suddenly, September, October has mm. been glorious. The yeah. weather has been amazing. I always say this is when New England shows off. I mean, I love summer here no matter what, but even just the, you know, autumn, this whole change season, it's awesome. And, and it just this week yeah. started changing because up until this week, trees were all green. Yeah. And yeah. now there's some red, some yellow. The colors, absolutely. And this is the start of the Columbus Day weekend. It's the homecoming folks are, uh, weekend for the high school. Right. All the Spirit autumn stuff. Week. So all the, the kids have been doing that. Yeah. I love the rhythms of life here. And, you know, not necessarily specific to Hopkinton, but maybe the U.S. or maybe, you know, but just this, what you do in the fall, you yes. know, the, the, just the traditional, the homecomings, the leaf peeping, apple the picking, apple picking, you know, whether you're in Maine or the Cape or just right here in town. It, it's, you know. it's funny. I, I, I definitely am, my food, what I eat or what yes. I make is affected by my mood and fall is definitely towards Apples, squash, oh, yes. comfort, right, you know, right, the, right. the heartier, the... Yeah. Well, sadly, I feel like I want to eat more. Well, I start <laughs> wanting to cook, because I don't want to cook at all in the summer. I mean, it's yeah. grilled, and it's, you know, steaming this and quick that. But now, you know, it's that cozy time of year. And then, you know, it's, you know, kind of thinking cozy and just wanting to put our arms around each mm. other. Tough week this week for, for all of America, just given... The, the tragedy in Las Vegas. That was, I mean, that was definitely. We're still all reeling from that. Um, scary. I always say every day is a gift. Say that again? I say every day is a gift. Yes, it is. But there's a presumption of security. And we have had a lot of security as far as walking down the street and and how yeah, we can it's live. Also frightening. You know, we're not in a third world country where bombs go off and we're at civil war. Or, but, but we still. know it can happen anywhere, and that's the fear. That's the fear. And I don't want to get, you know, we don't want to get all into that because it's such a beautiful weekend and Friday, but I'm just, we're, we're all feeling a it, heavy heart. Well, it's, it's, it's important to acknowledge. I, I think it's well, really important yeah, to acknowledge. And, and, and I think, you know, this year has been one of those years where there's been a lot of reflection on. Uh, community. Yes. Um, this week, the police had co uh, coffee with a cop at the Spoon, yeah. and I think that went well. Um, I had to work. That for I love that word. Yeah, <laughs> I hope they do more of those. Or I, yeah, I, I'm they sure have they done them okay. periodically, but just to sit down and, and talk and just a nice, you yeah. know, and and, and it's I such think a great group. And I think we're very fortunate. Um, our force, police force, does reach out to yeah. the community. Um, you know, it starts with our students and the resource officer, but but I think they go beyond and, and make efforts to be um, just appropriate. Well, it's like that community policing to me at its best, you yes. know, that they know the community, um, you know, they know the kids, they know the families. Um, Family Fun yeah. Day, they had an exhibit, The Jaws of Life, and they were there oh, yeah. and interacting and, and displaying, and, and it's just, you know, yeah, we see them doing... Um, various patrols right. and traffic or whatever but um, but to your point about community so you know the tragedy in Vegas the incredible weather disasters you know oh this season God. and you know thinking of their communities just physically there and how and the whole country becomes one again around community as far as wanting to help and, and having family impacted, friends impacted even though we didn't have the weather affect us here right but friends and family, yeah. just the, the concern in general. So it's been a heavy, a heavy few weeks in, it has in, been. in some it ways, has as been. a backdrop and sometimes a foredrop, well, forefront. And for and us. individuals in the community and groups in the community have been making efforts and doing things to sort of wrap their arms around the community, be more 
embracing of yeah. uh, uh, our, each other. Our, community as a whole. Right. Um, there was the red light porch a number of weeks ago just yeah. as a way to talk about inclusiveness. Lots um, of different, I think, and that's, I love that, that energy that people all over the country, and we are seeing it here in Hopkinton, want to acknowledge their um, values and beliefs around inclusion. And with that, you know, um, starting with, you know, the town charter and the the creation of the preamble yeah. and kudos to you and others who well, got that was going an incredible group effort you the, know. the beautiful letter that was then composed around that preamble and from, the, from um, town officials town officials and leaders in town mm -hmm. um, that I think may be on the website or somewhere visible so it raises the visibility of our, our beliefs and attitudes um, the porch light, you the know, porch saying? light. Somebody was putting, you know, putting out a, a red porch light to say, you know, and, all good. And then um, somebody has just done this, this kind lawn of magnet. Signs. Well, the lawn signs, and mm -hmm. then there's a magnet that is just getting produced. Yeah. That Coptington colors and just about yeah, orange we as a community. Yeah, but I love it. It's just we dot welcome. Yeah. And then the small print, you know, our, our inclusion statement. It's and it's beautiful. The it really way it's is. Uh, it designed. is. Well done. So you're seeing these sorts of uh, pieces of evidence of people's thoughts and wanting to just be out there. It's community. Yeah. You know, I, there are times where, um, you know, Darlene and I, you and I, we don't always agree um, on. <laughs> your thing, no. <laughs> we're, like, we're like sisters. Or we cousins, think at least. <laughs> We do sometimes. It's it's really hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we fight. <laughs> Not in a bad way, sometimes but yeah. Take time, but <laughs> but but we're even with some of my friends. Yeah. I don't, don't always agree, but I think there's one thing as a community we agree, and and um, how fortunate we are, how we um, want to come together. We we have a common bond on yes. so many levels, and I think it's been a little dissettling and troubling lately. And I like how, as a community, we've risen up. Yeah, we're trying. I mean, we we do. Yeah. Yes. It, 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 ways to go. Yeah. But but you know, I always quote the Robert Frost Robert Frost poem, "Miles to Go Before I Sleep." Mm -hmm. There's lots of work to do, but I feel like we, as a community, mm -hmm. more so than many other communities, take that first step. And yeah. and we're really lucky. Yeah, I we really, are. Really feel we're well, lucky. No, just I think the the neighborliness, I think the kindness is here, the sense of, you know, um, being there for each other, mm -hmm. I think fundamentally, and I think, you know, political differences and, and other things are, you There's know, more take, that unites back, us than, than divides. divides us, absolutely, so we are blessed, and, you know, I think about that all the time, you know, I feel so safe and secure here in little cozy Hopkinton, except when I see pictures of bears running around. <laughs> Or, you know, I mean, none of it's more than one. But there's been a bear on Saddle Hill most I recently. Know. So, you know, now I'm taking out, you know, we're taking out the trash bin the night before because our guys come early. And I'm always, like, looking around, like, scared, hearing every little rustle. Like, no, is it the bear? Yeah. But, you know, that's living in nature <laughs> for you. You know, I, I, I have to tell you, um, yes, and, and I don't, um, bears don't necessarily concern me, I feel like. Why? Well, I, candidly, um, the bears in New England, um, there has been a very, very low uh, incident right. of human bear encounters and even but human if you ran up and on bear one, and pet. Well, I wouldn't want to startle one. That's I, my I wouldn't want to startle one. I wouldn't want to come face to face with one, but. I think they're more scared of us than yeah. than we are of them. And yeah, no, I'm not going to go up and try to pet it. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's but, good. But but you know, I yeah, would like I to see it, but from afar. Right. Um, I'm kind of half kidding. I'm not like, but yeah, yeah. But you know, we have. It's been kind of interesting to hear to hear yeah. these sightings and yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely you know, as we grow as community, we disturb their habitats and. Yeah, there's more and more, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we feel more secure with each other than we do with the, the, I know, with the, the wildlife. fauna. Well, at least I do. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels like you know, this crisp, you know, early October. Uh, this is five cases season in Hopkinton. Oh my Like goodness. you read about uh, there September, October, October, November. Yeah, five Ks and galas. You know, up and down. 
Well, and, and there have been a bunch of 5Ks. There's a bunch coming up. Right, coming up. Um, I know. Well, let's give a few shout-outs. We've got a respite center coming, coming up coming on the up. 21st. Yes. There's the... the um, HCA is having one, I think, for Halloween. Yes. There's a Remax Foundation one ah, coming yes. up in November. Okay. Um, the, you, a lot of the realtors donate a percent of their proceeds to the foundation. And I love their concept. Then yeah. they do like the 5K uh, fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And then they give to community. Um, uh, yeah, real little, you know, foundation. Yeah. Absolutely giving some. Yeah, you know, so that's wonderful. Back to the community. Um, I'm going to... We'll list things on the, on we'll the website. We'll put it on the website. The yeah. gala is coming up. There's right. the HCA gala. There's the library the gala. library gala. Um, there is... I just hope that library... I mean, I see them working so hard. You know, I'm... I'm getting, excited. I'm so excited. That's that like going to be a cool the, space. I can't wait to... Um, a novel affair. I don't know what they have in store. I'm sure it's going to be fun. I'm so excited. Whoever came up with the logo and the look of it, I just think that's, I don't know. I love theme stuff. It seems so special. Well, you know, it's funny. Um, galas uh, have changed over the years. And um, galas used to be, you know, beaded gowns. I mean, it's like it's, somebody put on the Facebook page. I'm what do I wear? Again. I'm going to a gala. You know, it, what do I wear? <laughs> Well, and, and it's funny because I'm having this conversation, and I think with men, mm -hmm. um, galas tend to be either your dark suit or even pushing the tux, and those mm -hmm. are acceptable. But with women, it's gone the other direction. And, and I literally, I have a beaded gown from over 20 years ago, <laughs> and I can't part with the damn thing. Now, I don't know what it's you ever going to come back in style. I, you always got to yeah, have your honey, good dresses in the back. Honey, this is like, this will <laughs> yeah. be vintage by the yeah. time it ever comes back out. But it's like yeah. things have changed so that for women, tea length is now gala back well, in the day. Well, cocktail is always yeah, a safe cocktail. bet. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, you know, it all depends on the, um, I say the ticket price, the venue, mm -hmm. And then, if in doubt, call the you know organizer and ask because you know occasionally you know I work with nonprofits, so I go to a lot of galas. You do, <laughs> and they're all called galas, and some are small organizations that are having something you know in a community center. Don't call that a gala. Yes, and I'll be dressed like this, you know, kind of thing. Right, it's just kind of a word now in a way. Um, it, it's like well, you it's know, our annual thing. And I had never thought about that, you know, calling the organizer because. Um, they probably know what they want to achieve with it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. should. I mean, you know, but uh, it's fun. I love to just, you know, it's fun. dress up time. It's, you know, cooling, cool outside. You want to well, put hitting, on your clothes. Yeah. You know, Halloween's around the corner. Ah! Pumpkins. Yeah. Although the weather doesn't feel like Halloween uh -oh. weather. I'm, uh -oh. I'm still sitting here going, wow. I you know. know. I'm still in flip-flops. 70, 80 when degrees I'm at home. <laughs> and, and uh, hoping to... Uh, Spend yeah. the weekend doing outdoor activities. Oh, um, I know. Goodness. I enjoyed my visit with you on oh. the Cape. It was so beautiful there. And wow, you've got quite a, a little, little, little spot. It's a cottage. It's, it's adorable. A little it's little cottage. Huge. And it's on a, water. It's it's a pond. And I have a bathroom where you can't, you can, one, only one of you can be in the bathroom. You can't put on your makeup. <laughs> two of you in there at the same time. You can't funny. turn around. It's hilarious. It's adorable. It is, it's a cottage. And it's plenty cute. of room for, you know, for guests. Yeah. You know, it's three bedrooms. bedrooms. Yeah. It's got bedrooms. And the loft. Adorable. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but this, the weather's changing. The leaves are changing. A lot of fall festivals, harvest festivals. Oh, my God, apple yes. picking. There's the maize. Oh, um, I, the yeah. corn. Okay, I, I Davis. I've never been to it. Did oh, you ever done it? God, it's so Davis, much fun. Yeah. Wow. Um, it, it, the rule of thumb with the maze is if you always turn left, you will eventually get out. Mm. I don't know. You know. Uh, you mean in any maze or this one? No, it's any nice maze. To crack the code. Any maze. <laughs> the rule of thumb mm -hmm. is now, of course. You know. Mm -hmm. Who knows if everybody the word's tells out now, that. It's been on this show. But, they'll, but, they'll switch it up. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you know, apple picking. Um, oh, know, just, yeah, pick, yeah. Pumpkin. Went to, yeah. you know, if you're into more adult activities. Mm, um, do Neshoba, tell. <laughs> well, Neshoba Winery has, yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun. And you can do apple picking there and, mm -hmm. of course, sample. Um, but around the corner from there are a bunch of uh, orchards. But Wachusett's Mountain oh, yeah. also has festivals and food truck festivals and just have, and hiking to the top. The, oh, yeah. It's so much fun. Oh, is it? It's a beautiful time yeah. of year. So lots to do this weekend. Mm -hmm. There's um, 
uh, open mic at the HCA. Tonight, um, I think, right? Uh, there's, yeah, tonight at the HCA, um, which is always fun. Um, you know, throughout the community, Columbus Day activities yeah. in Boston. Um, I know that's for some. Uh, a dirty word, so so. Why? Do, oh, because of just driving in? No, Columbus Day has not oh, taken on this well, connotation, that. and it's like, yeah, you know. Well, political I mean, correctness. We're we're. I thought you just meant in terms of just going yeah. to Boston. I mean, yeah. there's some l legit, <laughs> just you know, um, criticism of honoring Christopher Columbus, you know. Yeah. But it is a four-day yeah. holiday, and people love that. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. for sure. Um, that's for sure, and. Um, there's uh, yeah uh, Salem, you know, starting to gear up for Halloween. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> now this is actually would be a great time to um, you know go to Salem. Absolutely. I mean, just because it's before Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're getting yeah. Well, and and uh, I did mention earlier, but exclamation point! This is homecoming weekend at the high school. Right. It's been Spirit Week. They have the football game. Um, there's all the activities in and around that. Um, you know, I the pep, pep rally is today, you know, that all have already occurred after the show airs, but, right. um, you know, a lot of kids are having a lot of fun with that. So if you've seen them out there in interesting attire, I think, was it yesterday or today was camouflage? And oh. I heard, you know, while some were in camel gear, I think a few other got creative and were like books and lockers and trying oh. to do stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. High you school know. stuff. Well, way back in the day, and I don't know if that's still happening, when my daughter was going to the high school, they, um, they used to prank. The kids used to prank, steal people's pumpkins, and, over, and you know, put them out on the football field oh. like, prior to the game. I, is that still a tradition? You know, I don't know. I, I don't know, I, but I know. that's what um, I remember from, you know, wow, the... Uh, I always kept my pumpkins up by the house and not at the curb because oh, we, never you know, had we had the, the pranking yeah. of, you know, the Halloween prank of toilet paper pumpkins oh, smashing that thing. But, but you know what I also remember, and I hope people are still doing that, was this whole ghost um, <gasps> thing that used to put on your door. So you would actually just get a, make a little Halloween bag and, you know, send, give it to a neighbor. And they would know you did. So you do it like in the evening, whatever. And then you were ghosted, that meant. Yes. So you would then put your a piece of paper with a picture of a ghost. ghost. Yeah. On your door, so you didn't get the treat, but yeah. then it was your turn to then go to somebody else in the neighborhood. Right, and then you take the kids around, and they yeah. just love being the, the one that sneaks up yeah. and does it. And pretty soon you'd see, by Halloween, you'd see all the little ghost uh, pictures in everybody's front door that everyone had gotten a I, one surprise of, gift. One of the best ones I ever received. My kids were all long gone. I was in the house with just me and my dog, and <laughs> I was ghosted. <coughs> oh, Except, lucky. Yeah, because mm. they gave me dark chocolate and a bottle of wine. <laughs> It was oh, how nice! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> See, so adults can do it. You can still do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that you know, I forgot. Just, yeah, I know it's such a fun thing. But you know, speaking of adults and and um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of people who are sort of moving on and selling their homes and so forth. But so many folks are staying. I think you know, as empty nesters too. So there is a mini. You know, years ago when I t over 20 years ago moved to town mm -hmm. and you weren't buying in downtown you were buying right. out in the neighborhood yeah now everybody's buying downtown yes. a lot of the homes are being refurbished and mm -hmm. fixed up really pretty right it's you know the hot new trend in hopkinton is this not the big house in the neighborhood in the woods. it's yeah. a smaller house downtown to have community and be able to see neighbors walk around i was i was um uh, Taking a shortcut cool. down Ash Street yesterday, I forget where I was going, and I was like, oh, I was jealous because I saw people walking down the sidewalk of Ash Street. Yeah. Um, you know, not just one runner, but you know, people are milling around. You just see more. It feels more energetic in that regard. Uh, well, I, and this is a full circle conversation about community, gotcha. and I love seeing how our community. There's a lot going on. Planning board is talking about. Oh, um, a yeah. number of different things, um, and, and there are a lot of different groups out there working, including the Historical Commission, um, in and around uh, the Common, um, and uh, with the whole center school and reuse, and do right. we need Marathon Way anymore <clears throat> as a way to get you know, the buses to, to pull in, so looking at maybe changing that up, maybe making that part of the Common, um, they're talking not. about burying <laughs> yeah. the wires, right. um, adding parking. I mean, it's it's multifaceted. So 
good things to get engaged with, talk about, get involved yeah. um, between the center school reuse, the common, the downtown revitalization, um, and that all draws and then you see this people looking at the little houses in yeah. town that some of them were really cute. There were mill houses yeah. that were built way back when and people are restoring them and it's rebuilding gorgeous. them and yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of kind of cool. Yeah. And, and you know, kudos to the people that were ahead of the curve and that did it 10, 20 years ago. <laughs> right now, you're I in know. the hot neighborhood. I know, exactly. We didn't, when we moved here, it, you know, we didn't even, weren't even shown houses in town. No. It was all about, you know, yeah, being in the woods and so forth. But yeah. I love it. And it's fun to just be able to go to town and, you know, have a bite at Bittersweet and coffee. Last and night did a, a Pad yeah. Thai oh, uh, yeah. dinner. Yeah. And, and Frequent you know. there. <laughs> so, Rewind. 20 years ago, yes. if it were 8 o'clock at night, right. where could you go in town? You know, we would go to Hob Drugs and get a video and be right back home. That because was because if you saw a Bills didn't have, you know, mm. Bills wasn't open. <laughs> That's right. Past then. Um, Colella's closed pretty early. That's they right. weren't open late. Mm -hmm. Hob Drug might be open. Um, well, not late. Yeah, 8 o'clock would probably be maybe, out of luck. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know. And now you can go to so many places, Yogurt Beach, you know, and yeah. I'm, I, I'm missing a lot of places, but <laughs> there's a lot going on in it's town. Fun. You can go, you can visit, you can eat, drink, right. take the kids. Right. Um, and then our the little hub over here where, you know, 110 Grill is and Spoon and, wow. you know, Starbucks. And Dynasty. Yeah, and, Dynasty, and, always. You know, that's yeah. been there forever. And, even down at Waterfresh with Startline Brewery. Um, right. Yeah. Well, I was telling a friend yesterday who got some friends coming in from out of town, and she said, oh, what can we do Friday afternoon? And I was thinking she wanted, she's going to come to Hopkinton and go shopping at Swoon. I said, okay, well, get Swooned over there because <laughs> you know, you'll find all kinds of treasures. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's um, awesome. No, we've got work. It's fun. Oh, you know. Downtown yeah. revitalization. It is I fun. I love it here. And then if you so, really want to jolt, go on into town, the big city, Boston yep, yep. and Cambridge and zip on in yep. yeah um, and is there anything you know you've been busy oh yeah you know um, busy on lots of fronts you know we both are <laughs> out there um, working with some great organizations um, you know uh, in Worcester areas uh, still doing a lot of work with WPI and other well, agencies and such. And uh, about to <laughs> schedule, going to reconfirm with the Y, and looking to schedule the weekend <coughs> of the 21st doing the ropes course. We talked a little oh, bit about it. Okay. Um, you know, when we talked at, at the uh, respite center, um, and they do a whole rope climbing with their uh, uh, clients, but. Um, yeah, that's this been your brain trusted. You know, what does it be brave? It's well, it's metaphorical. Getting women out there on the ropes course of the Metro West Y, the outdoor yeah. center, climbing up and rappelling through the trees. It, so it, you're, I'm glad you're, yeah. The ropes course is, is a lot of fun. And it's for all levels and all um, skill sets. And it's metaphorical for just taking a step out of your comfort zone, um, certainly physically, but. You know, women in business, we tend to raise our hand for the cold projects and um, uh, uh, when we know we can do it. We don't raise mm -hmm. our hand for the cold project when it's a little bit outside of our yeah. skill set. And so this is a little metaphorical. Um, and a lot of fun. And a lot. Of, but Maybe. it is a lot of fun. And it's a fundraiser for the Y. That's right. Exactly. Um, cold exactly. fundraiser. So you just come out and check it out. Nobody has to do anything. It's no pressure. We laugh. We giggle. Yep. Um, you know, you did uh, two years ago. And, you oh, know, yeah. Yep. And, and you're not comfortable with heights. <laughs> and you went up a tree and repelled down. And that was so this cool. This is a beautiful time this time of year. So you'll, there'll be more information about that yes, when, that, yes, when yes. that's formed. and. You know, we've got uh, lots going on on the RHH Facebook page, which really keeps uh, the community hopping around, you know, information. The book club, you know, we may even have a movie night in oh, collaboration yeah. with some other folks. Yep, you know, yep. To, um, kind of book club, quasi, that's what I'm kind of thinking, book club-ish, but more to movies around a particular theme. Um, so, uh, you know, thinking about just things that, you know, we have as we nest in, as the weather chills, and, uh, you know, we tend to you know, entertain more, or just, you know, get together. Well, I, I'm, I'm still thinking about my uh, 
fall cooking because uh, I, you know, right. I, I, I love to bake and, you know. <laughs> yeah, you'll be in there. Yeah. Uh, apple, tarts, tarts. apple pie <laughs> season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, I love the squashes. And, although I don't like my pumpkin in my coffee. I oh, like <laughs> you like it on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the pastas that are the, the butternut squash pastas. Yeah. And, yeah, Absolutely. I, I like food. Yeah. So, um, so goodness, we're th thinking ahead here. I do want to mention that um, we're excited about this show will be on location next week. Yes. Or next time. And um, so Library. We hope so. We're, you know, the library, you know, if we're able to be in there, we've got a date set. And um, to, to talk with the... New a library director, director Heather, Heather Backman, um, who's wonderful. And we're so excited. So we look forward to, to being there and, you know, horning on it location. on the new on location, chatting with her. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, that's the big um, news. So. That's the big news. Wow. So, so enjoy your fall long weekend. officially here. Happened a couple weeks ago. Exactly. And cheers. Cheers. I'm excited. Yeah. Have a nice long weekend. Together, we can change the news. Find out how at safekids.org. Thanks for buying a fishing license. I want you to picture all the great things this simple purchase does, like building public boat ramps, keeping local waters clean, and maintaining a healthy fish population. What's mom doing? When you buy a fishing license, you do a lot. Every dollar protects and maintains your local waterways for future generations to enjoy. Visit Take Me. Learning is about more than just letters and numbers. Social and Emotional Learning, or SEL, teaches kids how to handle emotions, set goals, and make good decisions. Being able to understand the other's feelings helps grow relationship skills. Teaching children how to have healthy relationships provides a foundation for learning. Try this. Group children into pairs and have them sit back to back. Give one a picture from a book and have them describe it to the other, who will draw a picture based on what they hear. Discuss with kids that what they hear doesn't always match what someone is trying to say. This is important to remember when someone hurts our feelings. Parents, caregivers, and teachers can ensure that social and emotional learning is an important part of a child's overall health and well-being. To find out more, visit First Book at firstbook.org slash SEL. First Book is a nonprofit organization providing all children with equal access to the books and resources they need to succeed.